Ishak, yesterday I asked you if you had seen uh, the RT film on my homeless family because I've been inundated with calls yesterday uh, from people who are quite shocked at the revelations and at the reality of homelessness in Ireland today and particularly the plight of families in hotels. So I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but I think it's important that you do because yesterday you dismissed my arguments on rent allowance, which I think many of the agencies are saying has driven many vulnerable families into homelessness. But you, you were asked also a very specific question in relation to NAMA's plans to build 20,000 houses. And you were asked, would you instruct NAMA to ensure that 10,000 of those houses would be social houses, as our Deputy Barry Cowan has argued now for quite some time, uh, to give a realistic social dividend and to build social houses and to tell NAMA to do that. Because it's extraordinary when you look at the sale of 442 apartments at Tallacross West, which is still being closed as we speak, to a major real estate investor, an international investor, for 83 million. I think it illustrates really the bankruptcy of the state and the government's attitude to homelessness and the lack of, of any urgency to get to grips with it. Those 442 apartments were sold, Taoiseach, um, at about 100,000 an apartment, 90,000 less than the modular homes that you're going to build, and you can't get built at the moment. Now, NAMA actually apparently offered those apartments to the National Housing Agency and to the local authorities, and they decided only to take up 65. And meanwhile, there are 1,600 children in emergency accommodations of the kind we saw on the programme the other night. <coughs> Who is in charge, Taoiseach? Did anybody not say, and why, why didn't they take up the offer? And why didn't the state buy those apartments and get the families out of the hotels, out of the damp rooms, Thank out you. of the bedsits? Question, please. It illustrates in one story, Taoiseach, how this government just doesn't get it, what it's like for people to be in hotel rooms all over the city and across the country. There was a great opportunity to do something there, between three bedroom, two bedroom and one bedroom departments. At 100,000, not the 190 for the modular homes, Taoiseach. So I want to put it to you, Taoiseach. It's time the government understood the urgency of this and the impact this crisis is having on families. It's been going for three years. Threshold warned you in Focus Island. Thank so you. will you know, and we've been legally advised that you can do this. You can legally instruct NAMA that of the 20,000 houses that they're building, that, you should, that, they should, that, that 10,000 of those houses should be social houses that would have a huge impact Thank you. in terms of taking people out of the misery that we all saw uh, on RTE on Monday night. <coughs> you raised this question yesterday in respect of the television programme. And I pointed out to you that the, that the disastrous state you left the country in meant that the entire construction sector and the building business had collapsed completely. Please. And I pointed out to you, Deputy Martin, that um, the government set about uh, dealing with the scale of that problem by dealing with voided units, reconstruction of places that were not habitable, Sorry, would you stay and a variety please. of schemes to, um, to prevent people and to help people not be put on the homeless, uh, on the homeless and on the housing lists like the housing assistance program, like the tenancy uh, agreement for increased, in the increased uh, rent supplement, which has helped thousands of people. Now, the point is that the government, because the economy is recovering, and it's important that we keep that recovery going, have put three billion on the table for social housing to build 117,000 units by 2020. We've given the local authorities, the chief executives, their money, their objectives and their targets and the facilities and the wherewithal to get on and do this. Now you come in here week after week, you've forgotten any sense of uh, fiscal responsibility. The, the issue is that if you want to take another two billion of public uh, services and put it into NAMA housing, well then, if that's your proposition, then let me hear it from you. You seem to think that you can magic another 10,000 houses uh, out of NAMA to put them on the social housing list uh, just like that. It doesn't work that way. Of course you can have legal opinion on everything. We all empathise with the people whose, uh, who have, whose children are in, in um, 
hotel rooms uh, or who, are, who have been put into emergency accommodation or who are in bed and breakfast. And, and between, between all of those and their, and, their, and, their, and their challenging cases, the 123 complaints that were received in respect of that programme were all dealt with. Now I note, I note the. I note, I note, I note, Deputy Mayor. I note this now. The T-shirt doesn't need any support. I note, I note, I note. I note this now. Sorry, would you please? I note this now. Deputy McGinley, does not let the T-shirt. I note this morning, Deputy Mayor. He amounts to two. I note this morning that not just in respect of the of the modular housing that he's proposed and that is underway, others have been objected to as well, uh, and there's a legal process to be gone through there. Now, you, you want instant houses. The government have put public money on the table for every local authority. They've given them their objectives and their targets and told them to get on with this. We provide assistance in respect of the housing assistance program, the supplementary welfare, which has helped 5,800 people, and 2,000 have been housed who were on the housing list last year, being put back into voided units that are now uh, comfortable and, and, and renovated. So if you think that you can suddenly come along and say, direct NAMA to put another two billion into social housing, then if that's a proposition, let me hear it. And tell me what facilities tell me what facilities you're going to take that money from, Deputy Martin. Deputy Martin, without interruption please. Um, now listen. And the kind of uh, sorry, would you please stay quiet? Deliberate decision sorry, never to answer questions that are put to you. Now Tishuk, in two thousand and twelve there were eight families presenting as homeless. Right? In two thousand and fourteen that had risen to forty. Under your watch, sir. And in 2015, it went to 75, and 91 months last year. Now, this is on your watch. And Threshold, Focus Ireland, Simon, Peter McBurry Trust, they all warned you about the homelessness and the homeless children in this city. That's the point I'm getting at, Tisha. And there were 442 apartments out in Tala West, which you could have directed and ensured were bought. Thank you. You could have done that. You choose not to do it. You choose not to do it, Tisha. Right? Please. 83 million. And you go on about modular homes, which would cost 190,000. These apartments are actually looking at 100,000. We're over time. Thank you. Tisha, if you look, and you clearly haven't watched the programme yet, and I ask you to do it, because I think you might get the sense of urgency, Thank because you're you. out of touch with the reality of what life is like on the ground for many vulnerable Thank families you. in Thank this country. And you do not get fairness, because your philosophy is laissez-faire. Let the market decide. Thank you, Deputy. So, so rent allowances can be cut to the vulnerable families Sorry, Deputy. And, and, and allow them to get into poverty. So you won't direct NAMA Thank you. to build 10,000 houses? You can respond. direct NAMA Thank to you. build 10,000 houses. You can direct them. Sorry, it's Minister mind? Noonan. Would you mind? Minister please? Noonan at the budget. Minister Noonan at Would the budget mind? declared that there would be 20,000 houses Sorry, built by NAMA. He time. declared it. Thank you. Now, you guys are saying only 10% should be social housing. Taoiseach, right? to respond. I'm simply saying, Taoiseach. Sorry, Emergency would you please resume your seat? Thank you. Demands a very effective, urgent response. Thank you. Not the failure that we've had with local Thank authorities you. building nothing in the last number of years. Thank nothing Thank in terms you. of social housing. Thank There's you. no social housing has been built in the last number of years, Tisha. That's a Thank fact. Deputy, you you have an opportunity to do it, and I'm asking you to do it. Will you direct NAMA to agree that 10,000, or not we just do it, 10,000 houses will be social housing? Deputy Martin, you have no credibility in the economy. None. You have no credibility in the Irish economy. None. You walked out of here. You walked out of here before the election in 2011 and you left behind your programme which you've been spouting about around the country now that others have implemented. Well let me tell you some of the stuff that you had in your programme. You had a three billion requirement to pay Anglo-Irish every year from the taxpayer. Mm -hmm. You had included 638 million extra in income tax increases over the five years on the taxpayer. You had your 400 million for water charges without any relief for anybody. And, and the great equaliser, Deputy Martin, the great equaliser, 
proposed that there be a cut in the minimum wage. That's your credibility on the Irish economy. That's your credibility in the Irish economy. And we have had to rebuild all of that structure, Deputy Martin, in which you have no credibility, zero, zilch, nothing. And we now have three billion of the taxpayers' money on the table to build social housing. Now, you didn't answer the question when I said to you, if you want to take 10, to have NAMA build 10,000 social housing, produce the two billion and tell me the facilities that you're going to take them from. Every local authority in the country has got its target, its objective, its money, and its go-ahead to build social housing. 2,000 taken out of voided units off the housing list last year, 6,000 helped through the, through the, through the uh, housing assistance programme, and 5,800 helped through the increased uh, rent, uh, rent situation. I don't accept anything that you say about rebuilding the Irish economy.